Hey guys, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Pearl. So as you saw, there was a little montage of me going through Route 214 yet again. So I turned that into a montage because I didn't think it would be that interesting going through the same route. And there was actually only one battle. Although I do need to announce that when I first started to... When I first uh, booted up the emulator, I, for some reason, I ended up starting off where episode 13 was, which was really weird, because this is episode 15, and I know I saved in between episode 13 and 14, because it's two separate episodes. Um, so yeah, that happened, which was totally weird. So I ended up beating the, um, Maylene yet again, going through all that Veilstone event stuff with Dawn and getting her Pokedex back all to Route 214 where I did catch another female pseudo wudo nicknaming it Rockin' again and um, Yeah, all that happened. I had to redo it and this is where it got me to and um, The levels kind of change might have changed up. I didn't actually check the previous video to kind of match the levels, but yeah, Vegas is what's going on. Not much has changed apart from levels, same moves and everything, same evolutions have happened. And yeah, so continuing on from there, actually I should save because I haven't saved yet. So I'll do that real quickly, like so, and we can go on. So this is actually a new route. Um, as you may have seen on the montage, I used the repel just so that I wouldn't get a wild encounter during the montage, just so that I could do it while I was recording my voice. So here's 214, and here we're in Valor Lake, friends. So we can actually catch the first Pokemon we encounter here. So we obviously get a Geo, dude. So that's Repeat Claws. And I'll just run away from that real quick. Actually, I should have Bitcoin in front. Okay, let's go for try number two. A Girafferate, okay. Um, well, I don't really need a Psychic Pokemon, but I will definitely catch it. Just in case. Girafferate is... Well, I've never used a Girafferate myself, but it isn't such a bad Pokemon. I um, also hope you guys can't hear my fan, which is on. It's quite a distance away, so I don't think you guys will hear it. Hopefully you don't, but it is freaking hot, I tell ya. So hot. And to record, I need to close all windows so that you don't get random noises from outside. And I'm gonna go with a Hypnosis on the Giraffe Rake. As it goes for a side in and doing what it does no damage. Okay, let's... It is nighttime, so I think I can throw a dust ball and... Yeah, there we go. We got ourselves a giraffe rig. Um, now I have to think about a nickname. Great. And we're gonna go with Psych. So we now have Psych the giraffe rig. So cool. We caught a Pokemon here. We can now move on. Actually, what are these two guys doing here? To protect the lake. It's nice to know there are still people worth admiring like that. I believe his name was Cyrus. We've been asked to keep everyone out of the lake area. Reason? I'm not too sure, but apparently to protect the lake. So it looks like we can't go there yet. I already knew that, but... Oh well, and... What do you have to say? What am I to do? I've gone and dropped my suit key somewhere again. The hotel people won't be happy with me. I'm sure I had it when I left the reception counter earlier. And we can also not go this way because this fat ass is not gonna let us through. Stop, stop. Yes, you. Sunny Shore City, which is down this road, had a major blackout. Crews are working on restoring power, but the road's closed now. And we can't go there. <laughs> and we've got this place where we can do a whole bunch of battles. So, why don't we do it? Although, our levels aren't so bad bad at least I don't think so but why not let's do these how can you guess right about everything all the time 
Do you really have the power of premonition? I'm convinced that he has some extra sensory power or something. I'm teaming up with a guy like that. Are you sure you want to do this? Oh, we have the option of saying yes or no. Um, I say yes. And with that, we have cleared the restaurant of all trainers that are here. I kind of just realized through doing this that doing two montages in one episode is going to be kind of weird, but yeah, I can't help it. So let's go off and heal our Pokemon real quickly, and then let's check out what's happening in this lakefront place. Actually, that blonde person said that she was losing something, so I'm wondering if it's inside. Nope, it's not in here. Let's talk to this person. This hotel is so romantic. I hope a knight on a Pokemon will sleep me away, will sweep me away for a honeymoon here. Uh, well, I hope that luck comes to you. I did not say that properly. <laughs> oh, whatever. Sup, guy? Is that right? You're a traveler? Yes, it's good to see other places. Have you heard of the Tin Tower in the Jota region? The rainbow colored Pokemon. I must see that during my lifetime. And he's talking about Ho-Oh, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it must be Ho-Oh. Um, nope. Let's check what's in this building. We have a clown, so let's talk to the clown first. We're a traveling troupe of street performers. In place of a formal introduction, please take this. Obtain TM92. I have no idea what that is. Trick Room is a doozy of a weird time twister move. Use it and for a while afterwards, the slowest Pokemon move first. Before the faster can move, the slower gets the slowest gets to attack. How you use the move is up to you, trainer. And yeah, actually, let's check out some of my TMs because I could honestly... Bullet C, no hidden power, no taunt, no return, not really anyone on my- Who can learn Dig? Blaze learning Dig. That would be kind of interesting, but no double team, hells, no shockwave, we already dealt with that. Steel wing. I mean, I could teach it to Shinobu, I mean... Let's steal secret rock. Not really. Drain punch. Whoops. Drain punch. 
I do kind of want to save it just in case something happens to Blaze and then I'll have Drain Punch for um, Machop. So, yeah. Yep, nope, we're fine. We're fine. How about you, sir? Blondie? Me, I'm just a simple soul. I let my guitar do all my talking. All I need is music and Pokemon. I can shine wherever I go if I have those things in my life. Cool, dude. Let me gaze into your eyes. I will read your future. A brief occasion of joy is imminent, but remember this. The good and the bad are on opposite sides of a coin. You know, I actually wonder if this guy can say different things. Oh, well, he's saying something different now, but... Eh. Eh. Let's move on. Oh, can't go there. Wait, is this a new location? Oh, root Okay. So I guess I'll catch another Pokemon during this episode. I'd rather be in a pool than the sea. The salty tang of the sea tastes like my tears after a hard day at work. Okay. And we get, oh, looks like there's some grass down there to where I'm going to be catching someone, something, new Pokemon for the team. Hopefully it's something good. Crash can's empty, of course. Ciao, I'm the game director. You're working on filling a Pokedex, aren't you? It's awesome that you're going to meet lots of Pokemon. Come show me your po Pokedex when you filled it with tons of entries. Well, I don't think that'll be happening anytime soon. And I think that's all that's happening here. I think so. So let's get out of here. Actually, there is something here. Suki! Okay, there we go. Okay, I knew it was somewhere around here. So let's go talk to her. Maybe we'll get something as a reward. I really hope so, because that was kind of a waste. What am I to do? I've gone and dropped my suit key somewhere again. Oh, that's my suit key! You found it for me! Oh, that's sweet of you! Thank you! And... I guess we'll go follow her. Like a little creeper. I should move my mouse. Thanks for helping me out. Here's something for you for your trouble. Lava cookie. Well, Lava Cookie isn't completely useless, but only one? Should give me like a, at least ten. I mean, come on, you couldn't even go into your suite. Okay, do I need to heal Pokemon? I don't think I do. Um, no I do not. Okay, so we're in Route 213. So we're gonna go catch a Pokemon. Um. There is lots of water here, but I will, damn it, not be using my fishing rod. I will go to that little patch of grass up there, and hopefully we catch something good. But first, we have this battle against Tuber Chelsea. Oh, wow. I am liking the background with the purple, because it's only evening, I guess? But I'm liking that color. It looks pretty sick. Um, the barrel. Goes for a headbutt, which will do no damage at all. Ooh. I did quite a bit of damage for a move that's not that good. Okay, speed up button. Uh. I am not taking that risk. go. I have to use a potion for that. That's kind of disappointing. It was against a barrel. Um, I won't do you. That didn't really sound right. I won't be battling that guy quite yet. What's here? No, Doctor. F um, I believe we get an item from this place, so let's go talk to this guy. Pokemon are quite easy for me to read. I need only to see their footprints and their innermost thoughts are revealed to me. Oh, you are skeptical of my claim? Then let your bronzer walk in front of me right here. Bronzer has no freaking feet. He like levitates. He levitating Pokemon. Oh boy. From its footprints, 
that it doesn't have, I will determine how it feels about you. And shin shin shin. Hmm, Bronzer happens to be quite the silent type. Because it has no freaking footsteps. <laughs> Lying piece of shit. No. <laughs> let's avoid you. Or we, let's not avoid you. And there's an item there that I cannot get right at the moment. Let me demonstrate my technique. It's how this grown up battles. Glam. It has freaking hypnosis. Wanna play this game? I'll use hypnosis too. As it goes for faint attack. And I hit Okay, this episode I've been hitting all my hypnosis. Hyp all all my hypnosis? Hypnosises? I guess the plural of hypnosis is just hypnosis. But As I was saying, or back to the point, I've pretty much hit all my hypnosis all my hypnosis this episode. I am gonna stop trying to say that because I clearly cannot say it <laughs> properly without stuttering or <laughs> stopping. So, damn it. Hey, it looks like we need rock climb to get to that patch of grass. So it looks like we'll be going here. This is... Okay, let me just... Oh, looks like we do need Rock Smash here again also. So this is all Route 213. Let me just double check. Okay. And of course I'm going to run into this guy because of speed up button. Isn't this nice? I love my inner tube. I like my inner tube too. <laughs> um, Shellos. Um, I think I can have this pretty easily. Yep, looks like I can. Hidden power is not doing any damage to me whatsoever. Um, why don't we just switch? Let's go into Siren. And just next to you. How much is that going to do? That does no damage. Me, I'm satisfied with that. And that's going to be another shells. And let's just harden. That's fine by me. There we go. Nice and easy. And let's keep, uh, let's move on. I could fight these fishermen, but I would much rather catch a Pokemon here. But first, let's pick up these berries, because why the hell not? Okay, so, oh, looks like we're going to be in Pastoria City, so what I'll do is I will catch the, a Pokemon here and pretty much call it the episode. Oh, sh we already have a show. I, uh, I thought this was a new Pokemon because of the different color scheme. Um, so this is repeat class regardless of it being a different color. So that was tr attempt one, so let's go for attempt number two. Repeat Claws Weasel. Can't escape. I am going to switch into a faster Pokemon. Um, if my third encounter does end up being a blue Shellus, I wouldn't mind catching it just, just because. Called it! <laughs> Although I really didn't want it to happen, but... Okay, um, let's just go for a Shadow Punch because I don't really have much attack, so that shouldn't kill it. Um, let's go for another Shadow Punch. Okay, we got it in red. So that's fine. Hidden Power hit. Whatever, I'm not going to go into that. Um, Pokeball should do the trick. Okay, Shellus number two, and it is blue. Um, oh god, I have to give a nickname. And I'm going to be naming it Twin Tails, because it's ear like things look like Twin Tails to me. I don't really know. <laughs> Twin Tails. 
Queen Tails. Okay, so with that, we've got three Pokemon to check at the PC. So why don't we do that, and then I'll add the episode right there. Let's talk to these guys first. Footprints are left in the sand when you walk on a beach. Pokemon seem to enjoy leaving footprints as much as possible, as much as people. It's a long way from Veilstone. I'm exhausted. It was quite. This has been quite a long episode. Although my timer kind of mess, mess is messed up because I have two montages. But in any case, let's heal up my Pokemon real quickly. And let's check up on um, the three Pokemon that we caught in the past two episodes. So let's start off with Pseudo Wudo. Our rockin' Pseudo Wudo. Mild nature, okay. Sturdy, which, you know, if I'm stupid, if I ever use rockin' and I do a stupid move with it, it will live. As long as it's in full HP. And it has low kick, rock throw, mimic, and block. I'm, I'm like, it's okay. <laughs> and next we have Psych, who's relaxed. Again, I really don't know what that does. It has inner focus ability, um, which protects us, protects it from flinching, which is really awesome. Um, let's see, speed, initial attack. It's actually quite a decent Pokemon. I might consider putting it on my team, maybe. And oh, okay, Stomp, Agility, and Psybeam, which is fine. And next we have Twin Tails, our Blue Shellos, which is a gentle little Pokemon, and has. Decent special attack and special defenses, and not so great speed. And it has Storm Drain. This the Pokemon draws in all water water type moves. Okay, that is quite a decent ability actually for double battles. Um, and it has Hardened Water Pulse, Mud Bomb, and Hidden Pat. Let me quickly check in what Panther has. Okay, to be quite honest, between the two Shellas... Twin Tails would be my pick, and... Uh, kind of don't like having two Poison types. But I do need a... Kind of liking Haunter and kind of liking Golbat. I am actually not too fond of Bronzer because it's not doing much damage. <laughs> so I might... So you guys might see a different team... Uh, ...in the next episode. Another thing that needs to happen is this egg. This egg needs to freaking hatch. The egg... What will hatch from it? It doesn't seem to be close to hashing. It's not making me too happy, but in any case, we this episode has been going on for quite some time. Um, so we will discover what's going on in Pastoria City next time. I believe there's also a gym in this city, so we'll be doing that as well. So until next time, guys, goodbye.